Hello friends, this is Umesh Aroda from CAD CAM Solution Merit and in this machine wise we have already created this base and this sliding block and this moving jaw we have already created if you haven't seen the previous video please check in the playlist ok so today we will create this guiding bush guide bush guide screw jo hai ye guide screw banayenge and then we will create this hmm, serrated plate and uh, the plate this plate this plate is two in number so two quantity one is on the movable jaw and one is on the tip saw okay let's start with this guide screw so uh, this is a revolve object so i am going to use revolve command to create this so first i will create half of this portion then we will create it okay let's start with the yz plane and uh, first is this and 35 and zoom it this is 10 okay again one more rectangle a uh, little bit okay just draw it and draw one more line okay now create arc now match now trim this line and this okay so okay 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 now it is okay now dimension 8 this distance is 12 and radius is not here and this distance is 25 so click here and from this to this point is half of 25 is 12.5 and here 38 means 19 so change it to 19 and C so drag this uh, it is this because it is not moving so drag this. this point is not dragging so okay yeah just because it is middle of this point that's why just delete it and now drag this and create this arc again and match one more line at the bottom okay shift it again select one more rectangle I'm starting from here and the diameter is 25 with a thread so half of 25 is 12.5 and the length is first 50 okay and again one more rectangle 12.5 and the length is 215 now 20 click now the diameter is 20 and the radius will be 10 and the length is 75 okay and here we have M30 threading M20 and I'll just click and draw one more line or just draw a little line and a arc Look here. And draw one more line. Make this line and arc as tangent. 
okay now convert it into reference then close and also convert this line now I'm going to revolve this and the total length total length is from this start to this point is 393 393 okay now finish it and select the revolve feature so I'm going to revolve this apply again this feature and my axis is this apply one more time access this and apply and here we have two reason I'm selecting okay and apply and this is a square of 20 so extrude it symmetrically 10 okay uh, now click ok and mirror it select this and my plane is this and okay so this is coming like this so go to move and move this face a little bit in okay why it is coming double click over it no here in extrude don't unite just keep it none now select this offset or move so I am selecting this offset region and the whole face will select and extrude a little bit inside ok my radius is not properly so double click and I am going to change this it is changing like this eh, which is not accurate just enter the dimension which is 12.5 12.5 okay and the rest will come automatically finish okay it is not coming properly here so I am reducing this value first unite and again unite and here offset and offset 1.2 reverse side and ok hide it <clears throat> now I want to assign the thread so here in insert and in design feature we have this thread and detail thread click here and thread is starting from here to 215 and the pitch is 3 and anchor 90 and left handed and click ok ok so thread will come basically this is not the square thread for square thread we have to create by all uh, but now for this example I am selecting this thread ok select it and change the color Okay and okay. Next we have this serrated bead. So new 
select the sketch and draw a rectangle and click and select coincident and the width is 176 and 38 and half of this so click this and click and make them align select a point select a point now the dimension of this point we will take this dimension from here okay because this plate is going to mount on this movable jaw and over this fixed jaw so one two two hole we have from the top it is 12 and from middle it is half of one one two now mirror it <coughs> okay and anything more no just finish it and extrude in reverse direction the thickness is 12 and okay and go to hole and hole are count to shank hole count to shank 16 and 8 so click over this point and over this point two hole okay sorry it is 15 from the top so go to here and change this dimension and close okay now hide this and apply some chamfer which is 2 okay select this and assign some color so all the part we have already created okay and see you in next tutorial which is of assembly and we will assemble all the part in next video thank you for watching and keep subscribe our channel